Hey guys, before we get this video started, I just want to give a shout out to the options guys. The um, the Discord here is a fabulous experience. Um, we've had a lot of great trade ideas already. I just joined this um, not too long ago and I'm really going to uh, put some of my time here during the day. So uh, please uh, give us a try here. I'm going to put the link in the description of the YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, good luck trading. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Options Tender. It is 3.31, last day of the month, Wednesday. Welcome. Hope everybody had a great night. If you are new here, go down to that bottom right-hand corner, the Options Tender logo, and hit subscribe. Uh, make sure you press the notification button so you can get these videos each and every morning, evening, and on the weekend. So, what we do every single day is we get a game plan. We check out ES on multiple time frames so we can get a bird's eye view all the way down to the nitty gritty and then we check out a couple trade ideas today we have a little bit more trade ideas than usual and i think tech is uh, going to take the rotation today and um so we have a lot of names that are going to bounce um you you could almost just uh, throw throw a dart at a dartboard and uh and hit a name that's going to bounce but uh, we're going to show some anyway so let's get into it here we are yes on the monthly time frame we are still inside month trying to push we did tap an all-time high but we're trying to push over that area once again macd is um bullish and the rsa is not overbought let's go down to the weekly on the weekly chart we are also still bullish the macd well first of all we are on wave five of five looks like we're creating some sort of ascending triangle we're still holding the 8ma looking very very bullish on the chart um, we are waning just a little bit, slight divergence on the uh, weekly MACD, but uh, overall in deep bullish territory and headed sideways. We are not overbought in the RSI there as well. So down to the daily, let's add some trend lines. Trend is our friend. Um, let's move this over just a little bit and check this out. We are kind of just flagging here. We had two big days to uh, get us to this point, um, right where resistance is. We're just holding and flagging right under resistance. We have another inside day that we're starting off right now, but we're holding the 8MA. That's going to be the important part. That's going to be the key. Um, on the Elliott wave count, we had wave four already, and I believe we are working on wave one. All of this is wave one still, and we'll go down and we'll show you um, some smaller wave counts as well, but still not overbought. A little bit of divergence headed there, so that's why we remain just a little bit cautious, but uh, nothing. Um, we're bullish until proven, proven otherwise. Yeah. Let's go to 65. We use the 65 minute candles, so each and every candle during the trading day are even, if you were wondering. Um, we had our three wave move up. This is all wave one, by the way. This is all wave one. It, but minute wave three. And then we had an ABC correction for wave four. And now, right now, we're working on um, a even smaller wave one at this point. It's not over yet. And what I think we're doing is um, we have it in an ending, uh, an ending flat. The name's not that important, but the ending flat, which this is a continuation process, just like a flag. It's just flagging right now. So we're consolidating, waiting for the next move. If we can just get past this downtrend line, which it looks like we're trying to right now and cross over on the MACD. Um, we had our pullback from this uh, bearish divergence. You know, it wasn't a major pullback, but a lot of times divergence is we'll just um, we'll just indicate that you're in some sort of channel, and that's the top of the channel. It does that at higher time frames, lower time frames, all time frames. So I know we have a lot of information here, but just know that I, I do expect this continuation. Let's get a little bit closer here to be um, the correction was a. B, C. Now it is possible if this does break down, that will be the C. Like a, you know, I'm thinking 39.14. Um, there is a um, Fibonacci as well if we do break down, um, but it does not have to at this point. We've done the consolidating, and uh, we'll we'll see. Right there. So 38. Point, 
Uh, 2 is 39.21. So if the C has not ended so far, that's where we're, we're kind of uh, estimating that will happen. Just kind of a shallow uh, dump. But that means the flag broke down um, at that point. So let's just uh, watch price action. Uh, if we can get over this trend line here today, um, we will be on the bullish side. I will be um, adding on to my bullish positions and uh, we're really looking to break this 3960 area, this monthly resistance. All right, let's jump into a couple trade ideas. We're going to run through these super quick because they um, they all kind of, you know, there's a lot of similarities. Roku in a wedge, beautiful wedge. Uh, Texas Instruments, TXN, flagging right now, looking primed for higher prices. Same with uh, Facebook, kind of looking like it wants to break out of this flag area. Apple, Apple's gapping up right now, looking good. Now, uh, the reason why I say most of these are just a bounce is because the weekly momentum is still straight down for most of these and so when we get a bounce you know the pressure still is to the downside we might get two three days of you know of, of good bounces though out of them amazon and that's on the macd macd momentum amazon not doing so much it's getting really tight in there i think that one's going to need more time to do anything google just a sideways movement. It's kind of worthless at this point unless you're uh, willing to sell premium. And I'm not. Microsoft consolidating as well, but it looks like it's at the bottom of the range. So we may get a nice bounce um, to a upper point of the range. Tesla. Tesla is starting to flag. It looks primed to go. It started to uh, move out of this wedge here so i think tesla has some more of this bounce to go but again the weekly macd straight down the momentum is down uh square square same thing push it out from this uh this wedge this wedge is action but we do have a well let's draw it we do have a trend line downtrend line that it, it may come up to square that's a triangle not a square Deking. Deking, we're looking for it. Looks like it's peaking right out of this downtrend line. I like Deking here right now because it came off of the bottom of the um, channel and also breaking out from this wedge at this point. Deking is a great candidate today. And that momentum is not straight down. And Lemonade making a great bounce. You know, we got to watch this area here. I think we have some room for uh, a nice day trade, but then uh, be careful of the downtrend. Lemonade. All right, that does it, you guys. Thanks for joining me here at Option Center. Good luck trading today. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.